so I wanted to be able to like if I was to go back like this I want to be able to see blonde and the same over here and then I want a little bit like here so so I got three boxes of these this is Wella color um, black right I got three boxes and I got a 20 developer okay so I am going to mix this stuff up I'm gonna start with the back of my hair which I am going to make black and then this is going to be for my highlights, okay? One part color to two parts developer. This is how it looks before you mix it up. Okay, and so I had some house, house gloves. This is all I had. I forgot to get gloves at the beauty supply store. But this is what it's looking like as I mix it. I guess it's turning gray or something. I don't know, but this is what the color makes. Um, so now I'm just going to put it on my hair. And I'll start with this thing, but after a while, I'm just going to be using my hands because it's just much easier. I haven't been black in probably like since 2014 or 15. So this will be fun. And because locks are like just a bunch of hair put together, it's not like hair hair. You have to make sure that it's fully saturated into your lock so that it goes through. So I am going to do the rest of my hair, the black anyway, and then I'll be back. this high color highlight by L'Oreal this is the golden blonde and I'm just gonna put it over my highlights okay so this is what it looks like okay so I am done I'm gonna put some foil over my hair okay and then I'm gonna wash this out and so I dyed my hair and although I like the jet black I think next time I'm gonna go like a little browner maybe 1B ish or shade lighter but anyway I don't like the front of my hair you guys can see it's yeah I don't I don't know it's like an ashy brown I don't know it kind of made it a little darker and then my roots didn't take well or either I didn't leave them in long enough so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bleach my roots with this bead Clairol BW2 um, <clears throat> And the same developer I'm going to use that I got a 20 I have a um, 30 as well I'm gonna do that first so that it lightens them up so that I kind of can pull so when I put the color deposit on it it's kind of like the same um, and this is the this is what I got I got these two um, they're both the same color they should be dark and lovely lightest blonde lightest golden blonde Wella color charm light golden blonde this is 8g 841 but you want it to be like a paste okay not dripping too much but thick enough to be pasty so that it doesn't drip down your scalp and so I'm starting my roots okay so I lined up my um, edges and it's a little brassy but I actually like the brassy look um, but it's definitely lighter than it was which I'm so grateful for because yeah that other wasn't so now I'm going to put my color deposit on my whole head to bring out some of the yellow and the brassiness I think I'm going to bleach the rest of my hair because I got some of the, <laughs> the bleach up here and I actually like how it's blending so I think I'm going to just go ahead and bleach the rest of my highlighted hair much 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 better much better so now I'm going to take my shimmer lights just to get rid of the brassiness at the top even though, even though I do like the brassiness I'm gonna um, just you know tone it down a little bit at the top. I'm gonna do the dark and lovely light golden blonde this is the developer that it comes with this bottle and you take the top off and this is the highlighter and this is the booster
so I'm about to wash it out okay so now I have like a golden blonde which I wanted um, but let me tell you after I bleached my hair I had to really experiment with this I had to really really fix my hair because it started to turn white I was trying to like tone this with the shampoo and it helped just a little bit but I had like a patch of hair here in the middle that was so much lighter than the rest of my hair and then um I put that dark and lovely on it and that's what so when I put the dark and lovely on my hair it turned my hair I just I guess it just went lighter and it started to to me it started to get gray I don't know what I did or what I didn't do um, so what I did was I put I did some research and I put lemon juice I squeezed lemon juice and conditioner um, and made like a paste with it and I put it on my highlighted hair and wrapped it in foil for a couple of hours I took a nap and then this is how my hair turned out so it was white before the lemon juice and the conditioner brought back out that I guess yellow gold tint brassiness in my hair which I'm so lucky for because I did not like my hair at all I also used the Talia Wajid clarifying shampoo it's the herbal cleanser I used that to wash my hair out a couple times because I researched that those um, that helps bring out that ash silver tone. Um, some people can get purple in it, um, so that that's what worked for me. When I woke up and I washed my hair out, I was like, "Oh, thank you, God," because this was the look that I was going for. I wanted it to be like a golden blonde. Um, and yeah that's it I'm okay with my roots it's still a little brassy but I'm not gonna mess with it anymore I'm gonna style my hair now and you guys will get to see how this really really looks once I get to these roots honey I'm loving my color yeah I, this look ooh. This look is giving me everything. It's giving me cute. You like this girl? Cute? Okay. I'm loving it. Thanks for tuning in to Brown Skin Poppin'. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe.